Hey, welcome back for another Trick Tip Tuesday, and today I'm going to talk about uh, center line radius uh, when you're when referring to tubing bending, and understanding what that means and uh, how to uh, use it to help you determine uh, what tooling you might need for your machine. So, um, the term center line radius is in reference to the center line of the tube and how big the bend is. Uh, basically, if you were thinking in uh, if that was a, a a 360 degree uh, circle. So um, this tube here was done on a mandrel bender. This bend here, is, um, this is um, 18 gauge mild steel inch and a half tubing. So um, when you're talking about the center line radius on a 180 degree bend like this, uh, it's pretty easy to, to, to be able to measure this and understand uh, what that center line radius is on a 180 part like this, uh, essentially by uh, you know, you think about the center line, and it's actually talking about the center line of the tube. So, well, if you were to draw a line right here in the middle of the tube, all the way around, uh, you know, what that distance would be uh, in reference to the radius of the circle of the bend. So, uh, if you measure all the way across in the center, uh, you're looking about four inches right here, which tells me that I have a two inch center line radius. So, the radius is half of the diameter uh, all the way across here. So the easy way to measure that on, you know, a U-bend like this would be to measure, just stick your tape measure on the inside of the tube, measure to the outside of the other tube, and that's gonna be the four inches. That's gonna tell you that this is uh, the two inch center line radius. So, um, you know, if you're uh, buying exhaust parts, things like that, um, you know, you might have different options on center line radius. Um, if you're looking for a die for your tubing bender, um, the, the correct center line radius for your machine might be based on the wall thickness of the material that you're bending. And what, I mean, what I mean by that is, uh, if you are trying to bend material that has a really thin wall, uh, and you're trying to bend it into a really tight, say like that you bend like a two inch center line radius, um, that is pretty much not possible on a regular rotary jaw style bender like this. You need a mandrel bender that has a mandrel inside the tube to be able to do that to keep the tube from collapsing. And the reason for that is that the wall thickness being thin, uh, the tube is not gonna hold its shape on its own uh, because it's, it's not strong enough. It's gonna be too weak, it's gonna collapse the tube, uh, either stretch it, break it on the outside or wrinkle it on the inside, one or the other. Um, but if you have a, a, a tube that has a thicker uh, wall, say eighth inch, three sixteenths, quarter, that sort of thing, uh, you can easily do it on a rotary jaw style bender uh, like this Bailey here. So uh, you need to be able to understand what kind of machine you have, what the wall thickness of your material is in reference to how tight of a radius you might need uh, to be bending. So say this part right here, this is inch and a half uh, 083 wall, mild steel tubing. We have an inch and a half die here that has a five and a half inch center line radius. So the distance from the center of the rotation here to the edge of the die is five and a half inches. So the overall diameter, if I was to bend a 180 on here, would be uh, 11 inches. So, um, you know, and some of that, you know, a size like this would be a pretty standard size for normal tubing applications, um, say for roll cages, things like that. You know, somewhere in the, I would say, four to six inch center line radius range uh, is going to be standard for a lot of different applications uh, on rotary draw type tube bending. So um, just understanding how the center line radius is measured and, you know, what that's going to give you as far as space, uh, if you've got tight confinements in your project or if you've got just open space, um, and then also what type of material you're working with uh, is gonna help you determine uh, the center line radius of what you need for a, say, a tubing die, or um, you know, if you're, like I said, building exhaust, building exhaust, working with headers, that sort of thing, uh, understanding the center line radius will help you, even if you don't have the part in front of you, if you're trying to order it, how tight of a center line radius you can get away with uh, just based on knowing how that's measured. So, like I said, on this die here, it's five and a half inch center line radius. So, uh, if when this tube is actually in the die, 
you only see about half the tube sticking out on the outside because the, the, the edge of the uh, die here actually represents the center line of the tube itself as it's running through the machine. So uh, hopefully that helps you if you're new to tubing bending, understanding center line, center line radius and um, you know understanding maybe what you're looking for in a bender and uh, try to you know apply that to your project and what you're working on. So uh, that's this week's Trick Tip Tuesday and we'll see you next week.